morning, good afternoon, or good night, my fellow Chibits. Today, I'm here to bring all of you another Tokyo Ghoul Re video. Now, I gotta say a couple of things before I even dive into this. Ever since Saturday morning when I woke up, I was already hearing many Chibits just slamming me about how this chapter is gonna probably break my heart. And I will admit... Even though this does say a lot of reaction, I have heard one thing, which I was accidentally spoiled on. And supposedly, this chapter has something to do with Hide. That's the only thing I heard. It has something to do with Hide. Now, I don't know exactly what, but judging by the general reaction of how many Chibits are slamming me with, like, this Chibi, like, Chibi, this fucking chapter is fucking ridiculous, I can already assume something crazy is about to happen. So... I just want to let you know, I think it's, you know, fair, I'll let you all know that I did, you know, I was slightly spoiled when it comes to something to do with Hide. I don't know exactly what it is, but I do know Hide is somewhat affiliated with this chapter. So, yeah, anyways, let's begin the video. Actually, no, 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 before I do, um, I want to say, how's everybody's week been? Has your week been good, bad? Let me know in the comments below, actually. Hopefully all of you are having a very good week, because, I mean, hey, very soon this upcoming week, I'll finally uh, have the fucking strike probably removed, and then I can start doing the vlogs and longer videos and shit. I'll tell you right now, YouTube is whack as fuck. Y you don't know how many times I'm trying to upload long videos now, because with the strike, you can't upload over 15 minutes. It Sometimes it'll allow me to upload over 15 minutes, and sometimes it doesn't. I have to fucking keep constantly re-uploading it, and it takes multiple hours just to get the video up. It, it annoys the fuck out of me, it really does. But, uh... I want to try to get this video up. Hopefully, I don't have any issues like I had last week because it took me like freaking, oh my god, the entire day trying to upload Tokyo Ghoul. The last video I did on chapter, I think, is this chapter 68? Yeah, chapter 67. It took me like all day to try to upload it just because it kept failing because, oh, it exceeds the 15 minute limit because, you know, YouTube, copyright strike shit. Just, yeah. So, I just want to say, hopefully, all of you will get to see this video on a Sunday. Hopefully, it doesn't take all day to try to, you know, allow, gotta keep fucking spam fucking it to try to get it uploaded. So, yeah, let, let's begin. So, chapter 68, page 1. If you want to read it alongside of me, please do. I can't wait to see exactly what is going to be going on when it comes to Hide, because, like I said, I don't know much about that. just know that Hide is somewhat in this, and I want to see what's going to happen since Kaneki, you know, cracked his fucking fingers. Oh, my God. Oh, my last chapter. Okay, so, first page. Oh, it's you. Please don't glare at me with such eyes, sensei. You might just leave a scar. It's irritating to talk to you. What do you want? Is Furuta talking... Who's Furuta talking to? Is he talking to Eto or something else? It's ta Wait, he kind of said sensei. I'm going to assume he's talking to Eto. It's irritating to talk to you. What do you want? It's time for you to eat. I brought you your meal. Shiono-san. No. Oh. No, she No, wait, the, the name. Is that who I think it is? He has been a magnificent a magnificent editor. It is. What? It's time for you to eat. I brought you your meal. What the fuck? What the fuck? Is the Are you telling me the fucking manager of Edo or the editor or whatever? Is, what? Okay, well, let me continue reading. Awaiting the the, the publication of Black or the King, the editorial department bar uh, barely was able to cover up the content. Of course, the cover up won't be strange. If it's about the negation of the negation of the CCG or Washu, I heard that they are still trying to further the spread of the book in every way possible. Was he killed? Oh God, Eto seems actually. That panel of Eto, is she really wor- I always figured she didn't maybe like her editor or whatever. I'm assuming the way this panel looks, it looks like she does care. Was he killed? Voila, I have turned- That's morbid as fuck. That's pretty fucking morbid right there. That's- that's pretty fucked. That that is really pr that that's fucked. That that's yeah. That that's fucked. That that's just the only words that come to my mind right now. That's pretty fucked up. So you're telling me the editor that's been keeping Eto's secret for a while now helped her publish the book to kind of frame or put down V and CCG and stuff and Washu's. 
You're telling me that editor that's been with Eto probably for a very long time just got turned into food, a meal for Eto to eat. That's that's pretty fucked up. That's like pr pretty much being told, hey, eat your friend. I don't know if the man is Eto's friend or not. We have no idea, but I mean, still. That's fucked how for Eto's doing that. Oh my god. This would be interesting. I wonder what type of reaction Eto's gonna have. Oh, I also have added some seasoning. I hope you don't mind. I, this is dark. That That's really dark. Like, I mean, Tokyo Ghoul is pretty dark, but that's dark. Since I am a man, my cuisine skills are lacking, but if you would so kindly eat this meal, I would be honored. Don't be. My, my, this is a problem. Was this a mistake? Have they found out? Oh, there's a ringing. Oh, I'm guessing the bell is going off because of what happened in the, in the last chapter. So at that time, Furuta was teasing Eto and giving her food. I, I just cannot believe her to do that. I mean, he's pretty fucked up. I mean, I, I know. I mean, he's playing everyone, but still. It's pretty awful to do so. Okay, next page. All right, then. I'll be on my way. Oh, one last thing. What are the results of your wiretaping? Oh shit. Oh shit. Were the results of your wiretapping successful? I will keep this a secret from the authorities. Pretty much, I'm guessing the authorities is, you know, the CCG, Washu's, maybe even V. I will keep this a secret from the authorities. It was solely out of personal interest. Eto knew what the fuck? Did Eto just get played? Did Eto just get fucking played by Furuta the? Yo, what the fuck? Yo, I'm so used to Eto warning up people, but fucking Furuta just. Oh my god. That's crazy. That That's pretty fucking crazy. Okay. Okay, so he knows about Kaneki, then. He knows that Kaneki knows. I mean, he knows that, you know, he's Sota and he's connected to Kaneki. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay. So, oh, well, I wish you the best. As if it matters, no one is going to see. Hmm. Nah, that's sad as fuck. That's, that's sad. <sighs> Fucking Eto's in a room and closed off, sitting in a chair, and the food's in front of her. Her editor is in front of her. What's sad about this panel is you can't see Eto's face. Can't even see it. I think that's what makes this even sadder and gloomier, actually. But you don't even know what face Eto's making. We don't know if she's smiling. We don't know if she's frowning. We don't know if she's crying. We have no idea. Whatever it is, though, it's probably going to come back to haunt Furuta. That's sad. That's really sad. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, Eto's editor. Okay, Warden, what's going on? The cells have been opened. Sector 01 has been compromised. That's where ghoul rate, rate A and below are being kept. Okay, what do we have here? We have a chart. Level 0, level 1, A rank. Okay, A rank ghouls, I'm assuming. Level 2, S rank. Level 3, SS rank. Oh, then there's another one below. Oh, shit. Okay, so the level four will hold the triple S. It's for it's a sweating bullet? What? What the fuck? Whoa, 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 whoa. For it's a, he was talking about the dinging, so he knew. But then he comes in, he's like, what, what's going on? For it's face, is he fucking sweating? Then how did this happen? The surveillance cameras have picked up the cause. It's him. Oh, shit. That fucking face. Ooh, that fucking face. If it was a little bit clearer, 
I would make that fucking fun. Oh my god, is she? Why can't you make that clear? Oh my god, that security camera would be fucking good with fucking cocky. Oh, that fucking face. He's looking at the fucking camera. He's like, just screw you guys. I don't care. Yo, it's bad. So he's opening up all the doors. So wait, let me, let me back up page here. Okay. Sector 0 for 1 has been compromised, okay, and pretty much level 1 A rank and all that and below. And then they're opening up, and then he says it's him. So yeah, Kaneki's starting this. So Kaneki, it is confirmed now, he is breaking ghoul. Oh, I see a picture of here, I'm opening a door. Okay, so apparently Kaneki is opening doors for ghouls. Okay, so let me read this. Sasaki, did he from the security office on the second floor? In the end, it's probably because he still thinks like a ghoul. Alert all guards. Capture the one who opened the cells. Heisei Sasaki. I repeat, capture Heisei... S Yo, this is going on the fucking intercoms! Oh, this is going on the intercoms? That means Arima's gonna fucking hear it. Oh, God! We might get that Arima versus fucking Kaneki match. Rematch. We might get that. You aren't a human. That's it of that? That's all we see? Okay. Oh, damn. Ayato and them haven't even broken in yet? So, Kaneki is the one that really did cause the alarm bell. So, he's offering the distraction for Ogerty Tree. Hmm. Okay, the ceiling is, there were more intruders. Move out. So, now Ogerty Tree attack. So, Kaneki is already opening the doors... And when they're just coming in, that offers a bigger distraction. Oh, shit. Okay, so Ogedi Tree's coming in, Bonjo and Ayato. It's the rabbit. What about the prisoner cells? What do we do first? Is it Ogedi? I don't know, but we must fight back. No, I don't know. This is pretty bad situation for CCG because Kaneki's going around opening up fucking cells. We just witnessed it in the last like, couple pages ago. Kaneki's opening up prison cells. That means they're coming through and coming out, and that means more... Ghouls are going to join the fight with Ogeri Tree. So as more ghouls are coming out of the prison, a riot's going to happen. And then it's going to cause more chaos. So this is almost already getting out of hand with the uh, Ogeri Tree falling in. And then fucking uh, having it to where Kaneki's opening up a bunch of doors and shit. If Kaneki can get down there to the uh, like double S or triple S cells, imagine what type of devastation he could make. That's scary. So, I can already see this turning into a bloodbath. It's definitely going to turn into a huge bloodbath. Probably a couple major characters might die in this. Okay, capture him. The rabbit uses an ukaku. If we suppress him from the front, we won't have any problems. I highly doubt Ayato would go down that easy. They got fucking wrecked. Yo, fucking Ayato just wrecking fodder like nothing. Stay to the sides if possible so we can avoid the attacks from above. Ayato, why did the sirens go off before we broke in? So, Bonjo has no idea? I don't know, but there's someone opening the prisoner cells. Whoa, so they, they don't know about Kaneki doing this? Hmm. Unless Ayato's not saying anything, that's a possibility. Whatever the case may be, still. So they're unaware, so Kaneki's doing his own operation. This is just good timing, then. I absolutely must take this opportunity. Yo, that Kagane's ripping people apart. My gun. Requesting support. Oh, Kaneki's not killing them. He is not killing them. Guys, look at this panel on the top closely. I absolutely must take this opportunity. If you look at the Kagane, look closely at it. Kagan, uh, Kaneki's picking people up. And you can see, like, on the top left here, he's picking someone up from by their shirt. And then he's breaking their guns. Like, look on the right side, you'll see their guns are broken. So, Kaneki's not actually killing them. Maybe minor wounds but he's not killing them so he's just taking them out of the fight probably knocking them out and stuff so he's not just killing everyone in his path hmm okay that's interesting enough he's not killing people requesting support oh damn Kaneki's typing fast on the computer okay only employees here where the ghouls are locked all of the employees know where the ghouls are locked where are you Faster, faster, before he comes back. What the hell is going on with Kaneki's vision? What the fuck? Okay, so he's skimming for the computer. Faster, faster. That's his viewpoint on it. And then his... 
his eyesight is... Well, we do know his eyesight's not as good because he's been wearing glasses, so there's a very likely possibility. I mean, he took off his glasses. So that's what's happened to Kaneki, too. Shit, this timing. Third floor, room 1082. Is that Hinami? Hinami? Yeah, that, that looks like Hinami. Okay, Aito's moving and Mondra's staying back. The second floor. Is she locked deeper within? So Aito, yeah, he's going to go save probably Hinami and Aito. I'm willing to bet. Falling down. Arima. Sorry, I was helping the others. Oh my god, fucking Arma is gonna fight Aito? Oh my god. Aito versus Ar Okay, this is bad. This is bad. This is very, 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 very... Very fucking bad. Fucking Ayato versus Arima? I mean, Arima just killed Shachi in the couple chapters ago. Shachi's pretty fucking strong. He's no fucking pushover. I know Ayato's a strong character too, but there's no way in fuck. Dude, Ayato, you can't fight Arima, man. You cannot fight Arima. This is bad. No, 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 no. You were all telling me to do a lever. Is he gonna... F no, don't tell me Aito's gonna fucking die. Oh, my God. No, 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 no. I'm scared to turn the fucking page. I'm scared to turn this fucking page right now. Rashida, please give me a break. Please, 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 please. Okay, I'm gonna turn the fucking page. Please, please. I just don't want to see Aito dead this chapter. Please, I'm not ready. I'm not mentally prepared. We still have yet to see that Hide thing someone talked about. Was I lied to about that? Next page. Well, fuck. I just speak of the devil. Okay, next page is Hide. Kaneki. I. Kaneki. Okay. Whoa, okay. So Kaneki's walking for the hallway. And he's remembering this. So he does remember his conversation with Hide. I want to save you. Please eat me. Yo, no, 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 what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, God. Oh, God, dude. Oh, God. Oh, God, he day. Please eat me. Hide, what are you saying? Is that it? It's all... What lies ahead is a very dangerous man. From this, there is no escape. You know after you lose, you could die. That's why... You must show him you are worth keeping alive. Can you... With all your strength, fight one last time. Hide, I want to be just like you. Yo, that's sad. Yo. 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 That's sad as fuck. That's pretty much letting us know he ain't fucking die. Yo, there's no way. There's no way. There is no fucking way. He has way too much hidden mystery behind him. There, there's just no way. <sighs> let me finish a chapter before I say my thoughts, okay? Just let me finish a chapter. Kaneki walks in and he says, I want to be just like you. And then he says, he not me. For someone else's sake. Sorry I'm late. Let's get out of here. For someone else's sake, I would lay down my life. Now is that moment. Yo. 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 My God. Woo! That 
is sad. Hot damn, that is sad as fuck. Oh, shit. So Kaneki is using his suicidal nature to lay down his life in a noble for a noble cause. That's pretty much it. So, in a way, Kaneki's still suicidal, but he's staying alive long enough where he could sacrifice his life for another. And kind of, in a way, carry on Hide's memory, his legacy, if Hide is in fact dead. But regardless, let's think about what we know of from Hide's situation. Because it says the chapter, so this is the finale of the chapter right now. Okay, so let me do some brief speculation here. Hide pretty much... We don't know his whereabouts. We don't know exactly what has happened to him. We have a lot of theories. There's so many theories out there about Hide. Now, the thing is, with Hide, there's a lot of mystery about him. There's so many theories, and I just highly doubt Ishida would kill off his character. But... We do know when Kaneki woke back up from when he was talking to Hide, he had blood in his mouth. There is a very good possibility that Kaneki did eat Hide at that time. That's what many of us assumed. Now, we don't know exactly how much. I mean, let's let's think about this. There is a possibility Kaneki did eat Hide, but he didn't kill Hide. For instance, he might have bit into his arm and ate some meat off his arm or something. It's a very good possibility. And, I mean, regardless of that, though, it's very sad. We we don't know if Hide is dead or not, but we do know there is a very good possibility now Hide, at the very least, offered some of his flesh up to Kaneki, and Kaneki was able to fight against Arima. Now, let's look at the status or what, you know, Kaneki feels. Kaneki wanted to die to Arima. He wanted to die. He wanted to die in style. That's him. He's a suicidal character. And now... With the way this is written here, let me just back up here, okay? He's like, What lies ahead is a very dangerous man, from there is no escape. You know, after you. This is what Hide's words are. What lies ahead is a very dangerous man, from this there is no escape. You know, after you lose, you could die. That's what Hide's saying. You could die. That's why you must show him you're worth keeping alive. And then, can you, with all your strength, fight one last time? For instance, one last time, this is his last time he's going to be fighting. Kaneki's last time. That's what Kaneki's pretty much using the words as. So, and he's like, I want to be just like you. So, pretty much what he's saying is, is that he wants to lay down his life for someone else. Which is very noble, but in a way, this is exactly what Kaneki envisions, I think, as a noble death. Dying in style. Dying for someone he loves. And cares about. That's sad. That's sad. That's sad. So, Kaneki just threw away all the consequences. He doesn't care. He, he's just there to save Hinami. It shows he does care. He does have a heart. Damn. Woo! That's that. that. Damn. Damn. That's a fucking chapter, dude. That's a good-ass fucking chapter, dude. That's a fucking good chapter. That's a good chapter. I see my Hide. <sighs> We get some speculation. What happened to Hide? Kaneki. Oh my god. Oh my god. The face of Hinami crying. I mean, just. <sighs> Damn. 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 Okay. I'm dead. I'm dead. The, just the chapter. My, my brief thoughts on it, powerful chapter, very, very, very powerful chapter that adds a lot more clarity to the Hide situation and Kaneki's situation and how his persona is, but also how he feels about people that have done him right in his life, for instance, Hinami. This right here is a beautiful chapter that answers a lot of questions, but also it gives us many more questions along top of that because we're still left wondering... Is Hide really dead? Did Kaneki just eat a part of him? I mean, we don't know. We didn't see a corpse at the time. So, anything could have happened. And also, with the mystery, mystery words that Hide said, like, he, he talked about there would be a powerful man. Like, what lies ahead is a very dangerous man. He's talking about Arima. So, Hide knew about Arima. So, there's a lot of questions there as well. So, I mean, there's a lot more that I need 
to know, but for now, though, this chapter is just probably by far one of the best fucking chapters of Tokyo Ghoulery. I'm, I'm not even fucking joking. I, I'm not. I'm not even fucking joking. This is by far, I think, one of the best fucking chapters. <sighs> it's a turning point for Tokyo Ghoulery. There, there's no going back from this point. This is the turning point of the series. Damn. I like in this panel here, when he says, I want to be just like you, I I'm just looking at it, it looks like Kaneki's like the ray of hope for Hinami, because you can see how the background's all white and shit, and when he walks in, and then that's what, he you know, Hinami sees she's in a dark room. I like that. I like how that's being symbolized as, you know, he's hope, or he's, you know, he's light for Hinami. That's good, too. I like that. Hey, good work on Matashita sensei So, yeah, I'm done. You all have a wonderful day or not, wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.